creatives, how are you? Welcome back to the Nerd Creative Channel. Fireside chat, paint by numbers, Halloween specials. So, let's just get things positioned. Off camera I actually noticed there were a couple of uh, 24s here, which is this brown, so I'm gonna crack on with them before I change to a new colour. I've used this paint quite a lot. I've used it in the building the Moomin house on the treads for the stairs so there's there's not a great deal of it left but I'm hoping there's enough so I can finish these areas. Yeah, so I've got uh, two videos in the can ready for edit um, in a couple of days when I get the uh, the new The new editing software. Hopefully, it works. It works really well, and I can just crack on and get my videos edited and uploaded. Yeah, this is quite a big area. I, I like I like covering. I like the paint coverage over big areas because it helps the project move along yeah so uh, after after yesterday's video I I said I was going to watch um, Friday the 13th part 3 or Return of the Jedi so what I chose to do is I chose to watch Return of the Jedi and about halfway through that film, um, my internet crapped out. So I've told you before about how bad my internet is. And basically what it does is it pauses and then it kicks you out of your streaming service that you were watching. Um, so that's what it did. Oh, the other thing that it did before then, it, it kind of... It kind of kicked me out temporarily and I went back in and it's it went back to a few scenes before which is crazy it was when um, C3PO and R2D2 went to uh, Jabba's palace and they were being offered up as gifts by Han Solo sorry Luke Skywalker so the bit that I've got to at the moment is um, they've defeated Java at the uh, in the sand dunes um, and now they're going to be going into the forest you know with the um, I don't mind that my, my door pops open all the time I need it fixing yeah um, so we're going to have that forest's uh, last stand, I would say, probably the last stand. So yeah, that's coming up. So I'll finish that, and then I'll be ready for The Force Awakens. Which I've only watched, I think I've only watched that a couple of times before. Um, and I know it's kind of, it's kind of like A New Hope, all over again. So they say, but yeah, I can see. I can. I never thought that because I'm not heavily into Star Wars, like um, like big Star Wars fans are. So when I watched it, I, I didn't automatically think it was um, a rehash of A New Hope. And then somebody said it, and I went, "Oh yeah." So there's a new Death Star. There's a new big bad. There's a new um, hero. It's going to be trained 
in the ways of the force um mean han solo the millennium falcon yeah it's got a lot of similarities in it i mean obviously yoda's not in it because yoda spoilers yoda dies in return of the jedi from old age nobody killed him or should i say time killed him and as he says he said he'll be going into the forever sleep which he does and he tells luke luke goes well if you don't need to train me anymore i must be a jedi and he said no he says you need to you need to confront vader again and once you confront vader and succeed then you're a fully fledged Jedi, but we all know he's, he's a Jedi now. He's been trained by a Jedi Master, and we know by this point of the film that Luke Skywalker is a Jedi Knight. We know that. We just know that. But yeah, yeah. So I'm almost. Uh, Let's see, two thirds the way through. You hear that honking outside? You know what day of the week it is. Um, it won't be this day of the week that this video goes out, but anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah, so it's Friday that I'm filming this video. So, you know, people are, it's Friday, people have been working all week, they're eager to get home. So, that's what that honking's about. This pen isn't that good. It's quite warm today again. I know I say that a lot, but 20 degrees right now. It's the highest it's going to be today. But, and it's quite humid, especially because I can't have a fan on when I'm making my videos. So I can move that up a bit. Slightly. Grab your coffees, guys. Yeah, it's really coming along. It's this project now. As you can see. This paint's a little shabby. I might have to add water in it. Because it, because of that. It's very, very thick, and it's difficult for me to do edges when it's when it gets thick. get as much as of this done as I can yeah so we're in part seven now so we are motoring forward as you were I'm gonna spin this now there's another 24 there but I'm not going to get it from this angle because if I put my hand here, the paint's still wet here. So I'll spin it. Oh, that's better. I can tackle these sides now.
uh, I discovered this YouTube channel. Let's see what the name is. They're called. I can just scroll back. called Creature Features and I started watching a film that they kind of because this is Halloween month they uh, they show um, they show films um, that probably most people have never heard of so I'm just gonna wipe my brush because it's getting a bit clumped with paint so yeah so the one that I started I did I watched most of uh, this morning which was Chopping Mall. I know, right? <laughs> what a name. Yeah. I started watching that. So it had these these robots that the story is kind of similar to Short Circuit, which is one of my favourite films that I grew up on. Um, so Lightning, there's these robots, these robot guards for the shopping mall um, that guard the guard the shopping mall at night. So they don't have to pay humans. So there's it, and then they get struck by lightning, and then they start killing people. I watched most of it. I didn't watch it all because I kind of, I was like, hmm, no. Does it, no. I, I like I like I like things when they're so bad that they become good again, but this is not that. It was a bit. It's very eighties cheesy. You know. Let's clean this up a bit. Very 80s cheese, which I don't mind 80s cheese, I don't mind it. Because we know 80s was cheesy. Then I started watching another one, which I kind of stopped as well, called The Return. So I've, I've, I've subscribed to their channel, so whenever um, films come on that I haven't heard of, I'll give them a go. Because they might turn out to be a really good film that I'll keep watching. And I like discovering new films that I've never heard of. Because there's one, I actually took a screenshot of it. It's got David Hasselhoff in it. And it is called. It's called Terror at London Bridge. Well, I'm going to give that a go. Uh, because. Because I live in London, so it's kind of. Kind of semi relevant to me. I'm not saying it wouldn't be relevant for somebody that doesn't live in London. But yeah. David Hasselhoff. The Knight Rider King. The 80s icon. Just making sure I'm painting this right. Yep. So yeah, I mean there was a film that, that he was in. And it was inspired uh, by Star Wars. When Star Wars first came out, everybody wanted a piece of Star Wars. They wanted to make their own. Like I said, Star Trek came out with a motion picture. Um, and the film that he was in is called Star Crash. Which is kind of like, it's like a Star Wars. It's quite good. It's actually good. I like it. It's not one of those ones that's, that's a copy that's really bad. And unwatchable. This is this is good. I mean, it it doesn't have the same. It doesn't have the same things going on that Star Wars had. The the lore and the culture of Star Wars. So there was no point in making a digital remastered version. Um, and change and changing things because there wasn't enough of a. 
stuff going on. I'm trying to find a film I've got on Blu-ray called Trick or Treat with David Carradine. That's kind of a, a rare, rare one that probably not many people have heard of. Um, I'm trying to find that. I can't find it at the moment. I may have to add water to this. There we go. This is quite a integral part of something that I'm painting right now if you can if you can see what it is you know why I say that let's spin it again I'm gonna have to stand up for this Yeah, David Hassel was part of two very big franchises, Knight Rider and Baywatch. Two hugely successful shows. I think Baywatch was 90s, I think. It may be end of 80s into 90s, maybe. I'd have to check that. Let me just um, finish this section off here. I don't know if he sang the theme song to Bear Watch. I don't know. Right, that's 24 done. Can't see any more 24s. If I do, I'll come back. Clean the brush. So I think we were doing 22s before I jumped back. So I think we were doing 22s because we did this section here. That's right. So there's, a, there's one on the corner here. Let me just slide this over. That I can do. Please excuse the music in the background if you can hear it. It's nothing to do with me. There's a car outside playing the music, so I don't want to get a copyright strike because there's music being played that I have no control over. Yeah, this very top corner. Be very delicate with the brush because these areas are very small. So, a lot of noise out there. Can't a guy just do some painting in peace? Of course not, it's Friday. Of course not. I want to get this colour, that colour and that colour done in this video. If I can. Alright, I'm going to spin it. There's another 24. This is 22. I don't think it's on camera either. 
apologies. I'll just get it done quickly. Yep. Yeah, so I do want to finish Return of the Jedi. Internet allowing. I just stand up. Patrick Stewart wants a Picard film to end his run. He still thinks that there's more to be said for, with Picard and to wrap up his story. So, um, well, who are we to? How are we to argue with the great Patrick Stewart? So this is 22. Let's see any more 22s. Another sum up here. Let me see. Twenty two here and here. Which I didn't see, but now that I've gone over it with a fine tooth comb, this lighting's not great. See the difference? I don't know why. I unplugged it and plugged it back in, but it doesn't seem to have fixed the problem. I've had it a while, so maybe it's on its last legs and I need to get another one. I mean I do I do need to get a bigger ring light anyway so I'll probably replace that with a bigger ring light uh, next week. My, my main priority is to get the new artwork that I showed on the previous video up um, order the new bookcase and then paint the shelves white I'm not going to put me painting my bookshelves on camera uh, because it's like the old cliche watching paint dry although you'll be watching paint dry you would be watching paint being put on. Um, if you want to see that, then I'm sure I could do that. I might do it. And then you can watch me put the bookcase together. If that's interesting, I don't know if it's creative. I, the fact that I'm painting shelves white is a bit of creativity, but I don't know if putting a bookshelf up is creative because you just uh, you just follow in instructions, isn't it? Just DIY. It's not creative. It's DIY. So there's a little one here that I spied. Slightly off camera, 
because it's at the bottom. The bottom of the canvas. As it butts up against the black. Alright, any more 22. So, yeah, there's one here. There's one here and here. There's quite a few little little 22s. Let's just grab them. Yeah, I didn't really have time to watch Bear Watch at the time. I think I was working. I think it was on a Saturday when I worked weekends back th back in the day as a student so I missed all of that I did watch the night I did watch Night Rider when I was a kid. Every Saturday. As well as the Air Team. Street Hawk. Blue Thunder. Was it Blue Thunder? Was it Blue Thunder? Fraggle Rock, anybody? Yeah, I'm giving my edge away a little bit now. Is that little one done? There's another 22 there. And it kind of snakes its way down here, so it's it's an interesting one. So we'll, we'll grab it at this end. Very delicate area. It's literally the in areas it's literally the size of the point of the brush. Wow. I have to think I've just stuck my finger in the paint as well. It literally is the size of the point of the brush. Wow. I'm making a bit of a mess with it actually. I think because the... I don't know. I don't know what it, why it is. Let's just be very careful. I wasn't sure I would get in there with the brush because it's so tiny. Hope you can see that on camera how tiny it is. I'm going to stand up again because I need to see if I can get in here.
very difficult. I'm going to spin it. So you can tackle it from a different angle. Stand up again. Let's try and get in here. Hmm. I might have to spin it where it's off camera to tackle this part. It's very difficult to get to. I may be on camera, I don't know. See this area here. this side here I've made a bit of a mess in this section, but I can fix it. 222's there. I wonder if they're the last 22's. I'm sweating a lot today without the heat, uh, the aircon's not on.
Yeah. Ooh, tight on that. Still a little bit woolly headed today. A little bit of that. Yeah, the artist that I was talking about yesterday that I couldn't remember the name is. I don't know if you've heard of him, of this person. Boris Afrimov. Afrimov. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He's got some great. Uh, he's got some great art. Has Boris, and you can get paint by numbers, which I have. Uh, one of his, one of his pieces, um, which I will be doing in a video. It's re it's really good. It's really good. Um, I do like his his work. I'm signed up to his uh, subscription email, and I do, I do get the opportunity to buy his his work. But I mean, it's for, too expensive for me. I'll show some of his work um, on this video, and you can you've probably seen his work, even though you don't know who he is. You'll have seen his work all over the place. It's a very, it's a very distinct and iconic style that he does, and I really do like his work. I'm actually going to get some prints of his, as well as the paint by numbers. I'd like a couple of his pieces up in in the flat, in the apartment, just to kind of, and definite these definitely would bright up anybody's space, anybody's living space. Definitely. They just look so good. Like I say, there's certain artists that I just really like, and he's one of them. I would like to actually do a bit more research about this this artist, to find out a bit more about him. If he's still alive, how long ago how long has he been an artist if he is still alive? You know, things like that there. There's another 22 there. And there, and there. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on this 22 for a, a little while longer. Yeah, they're just kind of popping up now. Before I couldn't see them and now they're everywhere. It's all good. It's all good. Let me know of any artists that you like in the comment section, and I'll have a look. You know, could be artists that I've never heard of, which is always good to, do, to stumble across an artist you've never heard of.
spinning my 22s. Before I spin the canvas. It's not on camera, let me just it's still not on camera. Could do these ones at the bottom. There's lots of artists out there. What's the guy that did the shark in formaldehyde? Hurst. Damien Hurst, that's him, yeah. To kind of push the envelope on what modern art is. I mean, it's good to see the inside of a shark, but uh, for me, it's not. It's not really an artist that I uh, that I would go out of my way to see their work. It's not. It's not something I, I'm interested in. The kind of really, you know, there was that artist that that made an untidy bed and called it art. With cigarettes strewn all over a messy bedroom, you know. That's not, that's not the sort of art I like. But it's great because it's pushing the envelope of art in different directions. So you know, keep it going. Expressing yourself through the medium of art, always good. Expressing ideas, thoughts, feelings. Great. It's what art should be. Yeah, I've still got those two episodes of Ahsoka to watch. Very woolly headed, so I can't remember what I've watched in the last couple of days. Not really. And again. <laughs> yeah, three times three times the charm.
Some of these angles are quite tight. Oh yeah, a film I, I started watching. I tried to watch it. I watched, I probably watched most of it. Maybe I spoke about it at the start of the video. This is what I mean, my brain's mangled. Um, Bill and Ted. Face the music. Oh, that's such a bad movie. Keanu Reeves, what were you thinking? It's like you've gone back to make more films based on in your history. So he did the new Matrix, which was bad. Although a lot of people did like it, so the, you know. But this first the music, it kind of like I don't know. I don't like it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to finish it because I just I just don't like it. I'll go back and watch the first two. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yeah. They were of their time. And unfortunately for Bill and Ted, that time has come and gone. It's quite, quite funny watching... Uh, Keanu Reeves playing um, Ted when you've seen him play John Wick and you're like no Keanu don't do that don't don't do that don't put yourself through it <laughs> oh, that's funny I'm going to stand up again Yeah, I don't know if you guys liked Bill and Ted first the music. A friend of mine who watched it said it said they didn't like it. So, but I didn't base my wanting to watch or not watch on them because we've all got different tastes. So I've watched, I I watched most of it. I watched as much as I could. I just got bored. I seemed to know what they were going to say before they said it, you know. It was uh, very predictable. And the other thing is, why didn't they go to the... If When they went to the future... Why didn't they just go to the future and find out what... You know, they kept going two years in the future, five years in the future. Why don't you go to the hundred years in the future and just find out what song it was and just copy it? Because maybe that's how you came up with the song anyway, by going to the future. But so it doesn't make sense. It's kind of they're trying to tap into the the humour of the previous films, but And I also think they were they were giving Alex Winter some work because I'd say since Bill and Ted and The Lost Boys I don't think Alex Winter has been in anything since but Keanu Reeves has been in a lot of stuff I think it's Point Break that he was in. Is it Point Break? A surfing movie. Very young. Keanu Reeves. And he was in Speed. And he very wisely turned. He wisely turned down Speed too. He was in um, Devil's Read. What was it? The Devil's um, 
the devil's advocate he was in that um, it was, it's been in quite a lot of things he was in Constantine playing John Constantine although I think I think he's going to go back and play John Constantine again from, from what I've written what I've uh, what I what I read. I think he's going to do. I'd like him to, to do John Constantine again. Because that was a good film. He did that um, the remake on that um, that Alien Comes to Earth thing. I can't remember what you call it now. Very is it? It's very. Uh, very highly rated classic. I actually watched it on the plane going to Australia before it was released in cinemas. I don't know how airlines get these exclusive things that I suppose if you want if you're not watching them on the planet Earth, you travel. You're sixteen thousand feet in the air, or whatever it is, or twenty thousand feet in the air, and you can only watch it there. I suppose that's how they get round it. I can't remember what that film was called. I'll put it up anyway. Yeah, colours are butting up against each other now. Quite a lot. I'd like to say I'd like to see a short circuit three as long as it's good. I didn't like short circuit two. Sometimes they just kind of lose. They lose uh, the story's not good enough and they just lose it. Like. I did like Beverly Hills Cop 2 and I've started quite I've started a few times trying to watch Beverly Hills Cop 3 and just I just don't, I don't get past the um, theme park bit it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like a Beverly Hills Cop film then when it does that To me. Tell you what was a bit weird about Bill Hills Cop 2 is that Axel knew Captain Bogomil's daughter. Now, he never met her in Beverly Hills Cop 1, and as you can see. The second time, and it shows you, it, it it says it in the in the film. The second time we went to Beverly Hills was because Bogomil got shot. So how would he know Bogomil's daughter? I don't get that. That's a that's a puzzler for me. And she knows him. So that doesn't make sense to me. Somebody explain that. How Axel Foley knows Bogomil's daughter. There's another 22 at the bottom. The 
This is the second time I watched Beverly Hills Cop 2. Because there's no way he would have known. Because why would the police captain introduce Axel Foley to his daughter? That doesn't make sense. There's no reason he would. Yeah, I mean you can see plot holes. It didn't even move the story forward. Him knowing his daughter, her, uh, Bogomil's daughter, that there was no reason for him to know that. It wasn't a hook of the film. It, there wasn't a reason why he needed to know her. So I don't know why they did that. Uh, that's my only criticism with Bill Hill's Cop, because like I say, I do like it. Um. But Beverly Hills Cop, the first one, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so watch him. Stupid phone. Yeah, we're just like, why? Why would he? Why would he know? Why would he have to know her? His daughter. I don't get that. Because he could have found out from uh, Rosewood and the other guy that uh, Bogomil got shot, but for some reason he was talking to uh, Bogomil's daughter. So uh, I, I like the running joke in uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2 where Rosewood has got like the. the the amount of uh, weaponry he owns for and he's like he comes across as like a mild mannered guy and the amount of guns and knives and all sorts of stuff that he has it's just like whoa billy what's going on are you trying to tell us something there's a 22 there that is on, on camera so and there's a Big one there, big sweeping one there. Oh, I don't think it's on camera. So let's go inside here. But Beverly Hills Cop 1, I can't fault it at all. Brilliant film. That must have been a fun film to f uh, film. Beverly was caught back in the 80s. It was just a fun, funny action cop movie. Brilliant. I'm not the only one out there who likes Beverly Hills Cop. It's just, it's just so good.
might have to spin it. And stand up. And brush a rinse. Okay, I'm going to leave this video here. I'd like to thank you for your company, and I'll see you in the next video.